hello today. Today I happen to have my assistants with me. I'll let them introduce themselves to you and then we'll, we'll, hello, descri students. we'll describe what experiment we're going to be doing. So, we'll Okay, so I'm Ezriella, his daughter, and I'm going into fifth grade. And I'm, I want to be a geochemist. Well, hello, I'm, uh, I'm seven, and my name is Josiah Neidegger, and I am going into second grade, and when I grow up, I want to be a scientist. So, yeah, bye. Well, why, actually, why, why are you uh, trying to have a pretend British accent? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> The mentality of a seven-year-old. So what lab are we going to be doing today? What's the purpose of today's lab? Um, we're to going to see how much like there, uh, see how much case. Since there are in, in, dry in, in dry milk. is in dry milk. In dry milk. So men. both Josiah is going to do a trial and Ezreal is going to do a trial. And it's, re it's important to remember that this lab is, requires three days. So once you extract the casein out of the dry milk, we have to let that dry for three days. Once it is dry for three days, we will then weigh the casein that we've extracted. So just remember that this lab does take some time simply for the drying process time uh, to occur. Okay, so for this experiment, you're going to need approximately five grams of non-fat dry milk. And uh, you're going to see my brother Josiah do it. And then I'll do it. Because we're gonna we're gonna do two trials, aren't we, kids? Yes. Yep. Okay. So you get one of these. You put it on here. You click a scale and you click zero. Get some non-fat dry milk. Scoop some out. Take it in. And look at the scale. I think you can dump it a little bit faster. You need five point zero, right? So mm -hmm. get some more. All right, you guys are doing very good. You're not making too much of a mess. See, you're not even there. 3.3 .3 is where you're at now. We're getting close. Yep, getting close. Oops, now you got to take a little bit out. Good, that's a very good amount. We can we can live with that. That's good, that's good, that's good. All right, so he's got 5.021. We'll see what Ezra is able to scoop out. Okay, it's my turn, um, me, as in Ezreella, to do it. So you put the uh, container thing over the glass, and then you... Or scale and then you zero it and then you you're gonna add how much again approximately five grams it has to be five zero and zero. Then... there we go that's pretty good and that's pretty good so Ezra was able to get 5.014 grams and next, we'll, we'll show you what the next step is. Once you have got, once you have weighed out your five grams of non-fat dry milk, you will want to dissolve it in twenty milliliters of water. That uh, twenty milliliters of warm water, I should say, and it can be no warmer than fifty-five degrees Celsius. Our water is 50 degrees Celsius. And so how much water are you going to add again? 20 milliliters. 20, 20 milliliters. Mil milliliters. And are you going to use a graduated cylinder to measure out the 20 milliliters? Yes. All right, so the next step is going to be we want to measure out 20 milliliters of warm water, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so okay, now we're, so going, now to we're going to put the 20 milliliters of water of warm water into the dry milk and then stir it till it dissolves mm -hmm. and what color do you think it's going to turn out to be 
Definitely white. Yep, definitely white. Yeah. Because what's, what's the color of milk? White. That's exactly right. So you're going to stir this until what? Until all the powder dissolves. dissolves. But the color of the solution will probably will be what color? White. white. It will be white. Is it going to be in milk? It's going to be It's going to be milk, yep. So no. can we drink it? You could try drinking it if you want to. It probably, you probably shouldn't drink it because we're actually in a chemistry lab, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how would you know if it's all dissolved? Do you feel any any powder down there? You wouldn't feel any powder. That's right. All the powder would dissolve. I don't so, feel any powder. Okay. So you, Josiah, you don't feel any powder. And do you, Ezriella? Nope. All right. So I think we have we have dissolved our non-fat non dry milk. Okay. So you're going to have to put some white vinegar into your milk-like solution drop-wise until it's almost clear-like. And how much vinegar do you think you're going to have to add about? Um, ten, I think. No, five. Five. No more than five, right? Yes. No, are you going to have to stir it while you're doing yes. this? Yes. Okay, so let's see, let's see you kids do this then. Now clearly what you can see here, it didn't really quite become colorless, but if you look at the side, look at the side, let me see if I can get this in focus. You can see that you have some chunks along the edge of that, of the beaker, and that's going to be your casing. So now the next step we're going to do is we're going to show you how to separate this. Now if you let it sit, you can start to see that it becomes sort of colorless and it begins to separate. Come on, get in focus. And it starts to separate here, so there you can start to see the casing. And now the next step I'm gonna we're gonna show you is how to use a coffee filter and separate and collect just the casing. We are going to use the so we are going to this time we're going to use coffee mate coffee filters to separate the casing. And then we're going to let it sit for three days and then we're going to mass it. The casing that's the in casing. the coffee filter, yeah. right? Okay. So when these we're gonna wait for three days. Once the, once we have waited three days, we are then going to get the mass of this casing and I'll show you how to calculate then the percent you. Hello! It was no, nice see, to was... meet you and goodbye. It's nice to meet you. Bye. Goodbye. No, you'll see him in three days when you mass it. We'll see, see you in three days. When we mass it. When we mass it. We have finally filtered the casing and let it dry for three days. Now we're going to mass it. Don't forget to zero the scale and then okay it says four seven five seven what'd you get josiah three three point five three five five and then what we have to do is we have to subtract off the mass of the filter so then we get the mass of just the casing, okay? All right. Any other last words you guys want to say? Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye for our last video. See ya. Um, I don't know. Goodbye.
Now what I have up here is I have the data from both Josiah and Ezreal. What I've got is I have Josiah and Ezreal's data. I got Josiah's on the left, Ezreal's on the right. I have the dry milk, the filter, plus the casein after they perform the experiment and let it dry for three days. Got the mass of the individual filters. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the grams of the casein as well as the percent of the casein as well. So we start with Josiah's. What we're going to do is we're going to take the mass of the filter plus the casein and we're going to subtract those two. When we subtract those two, what we get is we get 2.25 grams of casein is what he had calculated, is what he had produced. If we take that, the 2.25, and divide it by the dry milk, what we end up getting is we get 44.25. 7% casein. So in his dry milk, he had 44.7% casein. Now if we do the same thing with Ezreal's, <clears throat> if we're going to subtract these two, we can do this pretty easily. This becomes, uh, becomes 3.457 grams of casein is what she had developed, is what she had found. Now if we take the mass of her casein divided by the mass of her dry milk, what we end up getting is we get 69.1% casein. So she, she had a little bit better recovery. Of course, this could have been because we may have added too much vinegar to her experiment and hydrolyzed the lactose sugar in there. Uh, but but we, we really don't know. We, we'd have to do an analysis to see exactly if it was all casein. Ezreal came out with 69.1% casein, and Josiah came out with 44.7% casein. So these are how you would go through and do the calculations for this experiment. If you have any questions, please let me know.